These weeds are no match whatsoever for this seven, seven, eight, ten. Just powering straight through them. Hello, guys, then, and welcome to another episode of Brompton. So today, um, as you can see, I've been cultivating off camera. I did more than I said I was going to. I uh, got all those those three done, all the ones over there done. Um, yeah, we've been invoiced for Ingagri as well. In total, that came to uh, uh, almost a grand uh, for the different jobs. Um, so I'm gonna um, t just lift that up. Um, gonna take this off. Just leave it here. And I've put the jewels on because I I put um, back in uh, train dirt control, which meant that you bogged down into the um, into the uh, da -da, plow. Uh, so into the plow ground. So in that field, I was really struggling. Um, so I put the jewels on, uh, and that's the reason why they're there. But we're going to take them off now. Uh, And we're going to head down to the shop to buy something which will speed, or well, a couple of things that will speed the process um, of everything up. And the main reason behind that is because I can't really afford the amount of time that it takes to work with uh, that cultivator and the drill and this tractor. Uh, so we're going to, especially as I'm going to get less time in in the future coming up. Um, so I've brought down on the low loader um, all the kit that we're going to sell. I'm going to sell this and buy the there we go, it's locked on, but uh, the 7810 the John Deere 7810. So I'll just pop all these in here. Now I'm going to sell the loader um the cows have all got plenty of um plenty of uh feed and straw so we don't need the loader for a little bit and then with the milk um sale uh we're gonna try and buy a telehandler We had a little discussion in the in the what's it called in the stream the other day uh, about whether we should what tractors and implements or what we should buy. Um, keep joking. I'll just have to push that on. Um, and we came to the conclusion that it was going to be John Deere, and then I've looked into a few tractors and came to the conclusion. I was going to buy the 7810. So we're going to tractors. Let's go through. I've got a lot of tractors in my mods folder. But there we go. Now, this is version 1. It was a pack released, one with a front way and one without, but this seems to work okay. Uh, it's got It's very nicely detailed. Um, starter up. Uh, it seems to work okay, and it's a zip, which makes it life a lot easier. Um, now, I definitely like your input, uh, you guys' input, but I'm thinking I'm going to aim to try and buy this telehandler. The New Holland DLC one. It's very expensive compared to all the rest. Um, but I just sort of fancy using that. I um, think it might work quite well. Um, so, unless everyone's absolutely against it, um, this is definitely this definitely sounds like a John Deere. <laughs> They've got a very distinctive sound of John Deere's. We'll take this back and then we'll finish up the cultivating. 
and uh, yes it's got folding linkages all the windows open the bonnet sides come off as well as the bonnet opens got our beacons all the indicators work it's a very nice tractor unfortunately the way he's or well, whoever's keybinded it um, is such that he um, we'll just have a quick look uh, for the jewels if you press N you've got the row crops actually it's quite nice in the row crops on the sp our sprayer um, but N is also the key binding for the rear jewels so um, we can have a problem there I think uh, if we ever wanted to put jewels on but it's got enough horsepower to be able to um, to cope without it but we have got the front jewels but that is completely useless without the back jewels <laughs> but uh, anyway that's how it is I guess oh dear what is it stuck on I think at some other point we're going to have to downsize our trailer um, possibly to the WBF's um, homemade trailer um, I what didn't get that originally because it um, because it didn't have a locking script whereas I think this one does have a locking script so I'll test that out maybe and we can get that small on its single axle rather than a a um, triple axle put the hazards on there <laughs> might be useful Oh dear. Yeah, the um, there's a collision problem on the tyres of this tractor. Uh, there's no collision <laughs> basically on the tyres, um, but the rest is all okay. So. Oh dear. Yeah, uh, I'm not. <laughs> I still. Don't Quite massive. If you um, once uh, you guys have got Brompton, uh, I suggest that you don't ever buy a tractor this big, a trailer this big. It can just about work, but I would suggest that you don't buy one this big. Oh dear. The only downside of this is um, it doesn't really have very good lights. The front one work, front ones work, but not the back. Um, yeah, um, people uh, who are worried that I've sold my drill, I haven't got a drill anymore. Um, well, don't be worried. I have that one covered. Um, I think the uh, in cab indicators look quite good. Um, the um, yes, I have that covered, so don't worry there. Uh, and again, don't worry about this bit that I've left here. This bit of ground that's uh, left there because if we ever need to cut the muck to it, then during this harvest then we've got a good place to stick it um, and the other side of the river probably won't need muck for quite a while so this side will probably well not quite a while maybe I might get away without putting it on next harvest so we'll see but um, but yes I've just realised I should have gone to that right now. I'll just change over now um, so you know what cultivating is, <laughs> so I don't necessarily need to do a lot right now. Um, but this is quite a nice speed on it, this tractor. You can sit at 8, 9 miles an hour um, fairly smoothly. Um, but you know what cultivating is, we did it last episode. So I'll run off most of this field, and then I'll come back when we've done that. See you in a minute just noticed another really cool feature when you look over the back you 
you raise the camera as if you're looking over your shoulder. It's really cool. <laughs> and we can um, talking about this the rest of this tractor. Um, we uh, there's uh, other features like you can move the mud guards. Um, really, like it's just stand outside. You got opening door from the outside. It's quite advanced for when it was um, released. It's and uh, not a lot of those features have been brought into most mods at that point, so it's, it's quite a good mod. Cablet's nice. I'm not entirely sure why the steering wheel's upside down, but anyway, only a minor problem. Let's have a window open. And back off again. Really nice tractor. Mm, we'll be keeping this cultivator set up for a while, I think. Looks quite a nice setup. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, um, just finishing off this last headland that I've done the other one um, yeah I was thinking about the rest of the video um, sort of a bit of mishmash um, we we won't start drilling till next video I don't think but I think we'll do let's take the Ford and give it opportunity to work because should imagine now I've got this and, and uh, with the with ground works this is going to be far more suited um, I'm going to take the Ford and we'll spread some lime on the four fields on that side of the river um, oh, hide worker um, I work is very annoying. Um, yes, anyway. Uh, we're going to take this back and put the fertilizer spreader on the back of the Ford and use that. We did actually sell our weight, uh, which I don't really think we need anymore is, um, uh, because it manages fine with this and I've tested the drill I'm going to get. So, I think that should be okay. I think we'll stick this. Uh, where should we stick this? Is there room in here? Could put it in here. What a view. It's just. Um. Well, we need to take this out anyway, so I'll take this out of the way. So we need to think about what crop we're going to spray, uh, not spray, uh, what crop we're going to drill. Um, whoa, wasn't expecting that. Um, yeah, so we need to think about what crop we're going to spray. Um, 
not spray at all, drill. Oh, I keep saying it wrong. So I'm thinking we should work on a rotation. This is a bit light. Um, should work on a rotation. And so the barley fields go to uh, wheat and the OSR fields go to barley. Um, and then we'll do field two. Uh, you can't actually see it, but on the one where the chicken symbol is, but which is the um, which is the maize field, uh, field six, I think it is. Um, so two, six, four, fourteen, and fifteen in barley, and then twelve. 10 and 5 in wheat I think would work oh we need to change that's lime so I'll just leave that there a sec it sits in here That's all the cultivation work done for a while. Another advantage of doing um, just wheat and barley is that um, that's the only store that we've got. Um, these two grain stores here only hold wheat and barley. There is no other option. Um, so yeah, we'll take out the Ford. Doesn't sound as good at all, but anyway. Um, at some point we might end up, once we got a telehandler, it might be a case that we get rid of this and just keep the, just keep the, uh, the, the JD. Uh, I'm not, I think you'd probably do this afterward, after you've drilled, but. I want to make sure that it like decreases with every possible growth stage because I think this is going to be way too high. We'll see. I am really over spraying that anyway. So we'll get all four videos done on oh, oh not videos. Fields done on camera because they, you know, you whip through them with with this. So the aim of doing this is to um, increase the pH, making it less acidic. Um, well, it won't be acidic at all; it'll be alkaline by the end of it. Um, and that should improve our yields. Over spray, over spreading. Oh, well. Might need to do two more. I'm not sure. Lime is very cheap, so it doesn't really matter if we over spray. Over spread. Still got more money than we had at the beginning uh, of this episode, so. Um, so it's doing well. I think the uh the muck must have increased the the PK levels as well. I wouldn't have known exactly why, but it seems to have done. So it does sit everything seems to sit very high on this. Let's lower it down. And that sits at a normal level now and that's on the low the low setting but anyway. The drill I'm gonna get is the Cavernland um three point linkage one, um with the tank on the front. Um 
It's um I don't think it's a direct drill. Uh, it is multi fruit enabled, not that we're gonna use oh, we have multi fruits on here. Um but uh yeah. So if we ever wanted ever did potatoes, which is one of my aims potatoes or beet, possibly beet. Um which is one of my aims for the let's play. Then we probably have to get in Gagrian or um rent a drill, I'm not sure. I forget this has auto cancelling. We'll back it up in this corner. I used a reasonable amount on that field actually, about forty percent, so I do like this um, first spinner. Hopefully, this won't increase it like to I don't know, eight or something, uh, eight p um, pH, because otherwise, you wouldn't have really had much effect. <laughs> well, in fact, it have made it worse. It shouldn't uh, increase it too dramatically because um, everything seems to be um, increased less by when you use the first spinner than when you spray. So that I would imply that it's not going to be too bad. It's very weird, sort of. The particles seem to flicker like mad on uh, on exterior. Going carb, it's not quite so bad. There we go. Just two more. And then that'll be a video uh, uh, somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes, so it's about right length. Mm, we slurried this. Well, we slurried both of them. Things have fallen to trap four of. Um, spreading additional stuff on it and then it not make any difference. I think what we'll do is we'll just go to the soil mod updated to the next day. Once it's updated then shouldn't make it should uh this uh ground texture will disappear and it would have made any difference it's gonna make So we'll start in this corner whilst it updates, because this bit's fine because it's had muck on it, which has been ploughed in, so that's perfectly okay. Yeah, you can see it's gone now, so. This should also tell us whether the levels are, uh, what levels they are over there now, it's on the slurried area. That also gave us 25 grand more, so <laughs> that's useful. Yeah, we should be easily able to afford that um, that telehandler because um, we we'll just fast forward if, and wait a few more days, and it it would have uh, got us our yield, our money, 25 grand each day. I missed a bit there with the cultivator, but it doesn't matter. It's only a tiny bit, it'll be 
caught by the uh, drill anyway. Mm -hmm. So up here, I'm not sure if this is a slurry area or not, but I'll have a look, get out once we've done the field. But um, the the slurry area, I shouldn't imagine, would be would have been twelve, but never know. Let's finish this. Ooh, actually, out of line. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're nine. So still reasonably high. It's, it's can drop a fair few levels. So that's uh, you can drop down four levels. And there's what? How many growth stages? Uh, and it might be four or five, so it would be about right there, and then high in the rest of the places. But let's put the beacons on, heading on down the road. Oh, the best time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's check the feed levels actually with that uh, fast forwarding. Animals. Straw. Mixed ration now. Fine. Oh, oh dear. Wrong button. How's the muck? Yeah, not too bad. Refill and head back out again. I think when um, when it comes to sowing the grain, to, to storing the grain, and it comes to harvest, we might be able to move them uh, those things in the shed up a bit. But they'll probably end up just being stored in the big shed. It, the big sheds sort of become a bit of a um, general storage point I'll check this field because that just showed PK on the ah so that's brought it up to basically what we want um, may mean that we've got to spread some more lime at some point how did that that's quickly growing back. Uh, may mean that we've got to spread some more lime at some point. Because um, that only brought it up. Um, what, 6.6? 6. Um, so. Yeah, no, that'll be fine. It we got to spray. No, we haven't the levels we're going to spray um, herbicides on it so I don't know whether um, I don't know how much that's going to whether that's going to affect the pH because spraying and spraying fertilizer and in a spray or or pellet form that uh, affects the pH but um, whether the herbicides does I don't know oh dear still a bit light on the front oh I've got to remember they have all the cancelling on this tractor oh dear I'm hard on reverse there and it just floated around the corner okay <laughs> What's going on? There we go. Move away. Yes. 
So only got a little bit left to do on this field. Um, seems that it's going to raise it up to about the right levels, um, but uh, we should, might get away with just leaving it now. The PK and once we've drilled it, no oh, PH, I mean. Ooh. Once we've drilled it, it should be okay to just leave. Well, we've got the um, herbicides. I'm probably going to put a double dose on if I can afford it, which I think I will be able to. I try and put a double dose on because then we've got some weed prevention as well as uh, cure, if you know what I mean. Should be better. Right, that's this field done. It's nice to be able to use the Ford still. Um, it is an older tractor, but at some point we'll probably just, well, at some point we'll probably just end up uh, selling the Ford and just using the one, uh, just using the JD there. But for now, this is plenty. Uh, this is fine to keep going. Ooh, I need to get over. I really need to st to use some sort of alarm clock or something, or time alarm timer or something to uh, make me stop, um, pause the recording, just before the uh, ten minute thing stops me. If, if you know what I mean, because um, I've happened twice now in this video that I've uh, just kept going, not noticed the timer on the other screen of the recording software, and it just. Uh, doesn't and it just stops <laughs> in mid sentence. Uh, but I suppose the other option is as um some people have said in or in the comments, uh you can use other free recording software that doesn't leave the um thumbnail on the top and uh don't have a ten minute problem. So I really need to probably do that but anyway. It will cost um, about £45,000 to uh, get the drill um, with the front, uh, although the front really, the front bit isn't really necessary, it doesn't fit into that at all, but it just looks better, so let's all get that. Um, so yeah. Um, Yes, might actually if we're not going to be spreading um, spraying any PK or um, N, we might actually need to um, spray some water because the moisture is slightly low now, uh, so it will be lowered at various points. At a lot of the growth stages, moisture has decreased so. Although obviously if we have a lot of rain then that'd be fine, but we'll check the weather forecast once we get back. Mm -hmm. So I still need to make my um tour video um of Brompton. Which will make the release. It will be the release so that it's ready to go as soon as. We'll leave it on this for now. It's nothing drilled yet, so um, it doesn't matter. But in fact, I'll just take it off, and we don't want we don't want it on this. So. Uh, we'll stick it down. In the, in the barley store. Actually, I won't because the drills probably have to go down there. That'll be fine. Uh, we'll just shove this tractor back in the large shed. And um, yeah. 
Yes, I've still got the rust stack of hay to get rid of, but anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, make sure to like that and subscribe if you did, uh, or if you let me know how to improve. Um, and we'll be back next episode on Monday to do the drilling. Bye.